not like it, but I'm only doing one meal a day and strength gains, but I'm getting very good results. First and foremost, this is my bride, my new lovely wife. Um, on social, she's at Weight Loss Hero. Why? Because she's a weight loss hero beast. Would love for you to at least get three meals in. Yeah. Um, before and after workout, and then maybe one a little bit later, and then if you want to fast through the rest of the day, I'm okay with that. <clears throat> he's he's like, uh, he pays girls to come to his house and be in their underwear. Um, huh. and then he pulls out guns and stuff, so it's like... Rest it's that kind of people. Form. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> this is the new father and son shirts. Hi, Mike. I'm on the strength game program. Great. Uh, when doing the O'Hearn tricep press with the Olympic dumbbell handles, I only get half of the range of movement because of the dumbbell's handle length. Can I use your tricep extension when, with? Can I use your tricep extensions with dumbbells on the incline bench where you rotate your hands, bringing the dumbbells behind your head? So that's what. Yeah. Yeah, you can do either exercise. Yeah. I don't know I what you mean by awesome. Olympic dumbbell. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Sorry, and I don't understand. I think it's any a regular kind of... dumbbell. Am I wrong? And it's. Uh, I don't know. I don't I've know. never heard okay. it used that way. Just uh. I, so I don't know what an Olympic dumbbell is or what you're implying that it is. Uh, a dumbbells, for most dumbbells that I've used, even the J-Bell, uh, I can still get a ro full rotation. He said Olympic dumbbells handles. Yeah. So. Oh, it might be a home. Uh, you know what I it mean? might be That's that old school is. home. Yeah, it could be at a home because the, they're so long. Yeah. Um, yeah, just do the tricep yeah. extensions like I do with the whole rotation and taking it all the way back and rotating over. You're going to love that as well. <clears throat> Good job, David. Just listen to Thanks for body. asking. David? Listen to your body, buddy. We're going to block you with Steve Pack. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it took me 10 years to learn how to train and eat properly. And to get... Uh, I can't read it anymore. Hold on for a second. I just want to verify that he's if he's doing that. It took me 10 years to learn how to train and eat properly to get an idea what my body likes and does not like. I wish I would have the opportunity to learn from people like you. It would have saved me, uh, yeah, half of the time. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I, thanks I for saying I that, too, because yeah. it's interesting with today's society. Uh, I'm trying to tell people from my experience what worked and what did not work. So I, I'm i an expert for myself and the people I work with. Uh, I'm not trying to say that I'm the most brilliant guy in the world, but I am trying to give knowledge from what, like Lee Haney, uh, from Lee Priest to Flex Wheeler, Chris Cormier, we're all trying to give the knowledge that we did relative to the guys just study it, um, what it's like to train for 30 to 40 years and, and what great benefits there are from that. And so I love the fact that you are at this stage sucking up the knowledge that I'm spitting out there and that you're getting that. I wish more people would take that approach. It seems like Lee talked about this, is that we give this information and people come on to just um, downgrade it. What would another term would be uh, just to yeah, blow smoke at it, which is weird because it's just, it, it's factual stuff that worked for us and what didn't work for us. Like Lee even talked about uh, when he was off season, he wished he stayed more on his nutrition plan in the off season. Um, for me, I wish I had trained less intense uh, in my 20s and 30s and understood that a little bit did a lot um, relative to me trying to blow out the gym and blow out everybody I was working with. I realize that now, and especially now, that I can still grow working smarter but less work uh, relative to the guy that spends three hours in the gym. So I'm glad that you're here and that you, you made that statement. I hope more people listen to your statement about sucking up that knowledge and it, how much time it... First of all, weightlifting and building a body takes forever. So if you could take some time off of that uh, because you're doing it right, that's a great thing. It's again... Uh, Thanks, David, for jumping in today and really uh, adding to this whole thing. It's better to have you here than Steve Pack. I just want you to know that.
Uh, Jennifer says that some uh, some stars are worried about being stalked, but that you guys are stalking your fans. Looks around <laughs> nervously. Bless you. Bless you, Jeff. <laughs> hey, God bless you. <laughs> Thanks, thanks for the uh, Kirian, we're going to answer this on Tuesday, buddy. This What's is this? all questions about his plan and calories. Kirian, uh, Kirian is one of these guys that's very intense. He, he trains hard. He eats proper. He's on point. Uh, and he makes sure to hold me to uh, stay on point and time. Um, so uh, thank you, buddy. And I'm glad that you're making the changes. What we did with him was he was very into this mm -hmm. very, very, very high carbohydrate but he wasn't building any muscle because he wasn't taking in much protein. Uh, and we just did an easy little flip. Uh, we basically just flipped his protein and carb intake. But I think we um, all, you also changed him to the strength. And trained his workout. Yeah. But, but the nutrition yeah. alone, we flipped it. Um, I don't know where he got his information before, but it just was not taking enough protein to continue to get lean and build muscle. Especially, hey, he's a great age. Kirian is, and uh, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Superhero, man. Yeah, we talked about so, that with Lee. Um, and so it's great that he's actually doing this and he's seen some quick changes. Now, see, on his case, he's at such a good age and he, and he knows his body so well, he sees these changes really quickly. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Jacob, never in my entire life would I ever even think of doing that. Who's that? Who's that? You want to read that one? Bilzerian. Jacob. Do a collab with Dan Bilzer. Who's Dan Bilzer? Oh, yours is different order. Where are you guys? Uh, uh, no idea. You don't see oh, it? Is that, um, yes. We don't know. Who That's Pothead. We, we do, but we don't. But we don't. Absolutely don't not. Know. Uh, no, I am definitely not that guy. Uh, I would never in my entire career he's like, ever do a uh, collab with him. No. No, he's like rooftop party. Baby no. Baby. <laughs> he's, he's like... Uh, he pays girls to come to his house and be in their underwear. Um, huh. Then he pulls out guns and stuff. So it's like, Rest it's that kind of people. Form. Yeah, it's like <laughs> absolutely nothing, nothing to learn from. Well, what that. are you gonna collab with him? Like, no, I don't what? know. I have no clue. Absolutely <laughs> not. I'm setting it up. No. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. Jeff, Jeff was the never problem. happened in my life. Tony Robbins, a hundred percent. I will be collabing with him because there's so much to uh, learn about the mind and how strong the mind is and, and power. Hooking up again to Vizarian. No, I don't need to see girls in the but again, underwears uh, and guns but again, and Jeff stuff. Wants to collab but Jeff him. wants to collab with them. <laughs> Smoke a fatty. <laughs> Eat some crab. I'm just testing the market. Catch some herpes. I, I see it. <laughs> you know, catch it twice. Uh, catch it twice for Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no. Hey, bless me. Uh, Jacob, that's so weird, man. I, right, I can't let, even let figure that you. I, let it go. Let I know, go. but it's just so. Let's it, move on. Okay, done. Sorry, I'm letting that one go. Yeah. Strength gain question. Do I increase each week? What's week, the program say? Week one, increase bench to 45%, uh, percent, which is 50 kilograms. With week two, incline bench 45%, increase to 52 kilograms. Or do I stick with the percentages throughout the whole program? Yeah, so when it comes to strength gain, someone asks here, uh, do I get move up the weights each week? If, you, if you're strong enough to do it, go ahead and do it. I put the percentages in there because I'm trying to set you up at week 12 to be the very strongest you possibly can. So here's, here's something for anybody. If you're doing a program, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in more sets uh, and more reps, mostly with strength gains. It's a, it's a tough, tough program. It really is. Um, so when you're doing that, my recommendation for you doing that is to train on the percentages I've given you. Do the best you can. Keep the form. Um, play with the speed. If it's too easy, again, play with that speed. Make sure you slow the speed down. Make sure you do it right. Um, but I wouldn't jump ahead because all you're going to do is set yourself up to fail at week 9, 10, 9 through 12. So I'm setting you up to win down the road. Um, you might get impatient at the beginning. You want to go off that with another one? Go. Um, as a fat person, I really appreciate that you said, hey, lose fat first, then build muscle. I was trying to do both, and I just got frustrated. Now I'm focusing on clean eating while doing strength gains, which is my favorite program ever. Here's where the point comes in. This is low. Now, now you may not like it, but I'm only doing one meal a day and strength gains, but I'm getting very good results. One meal a day? One meal a day. 
Once I lose the fat, I will slowly integrate carbs. Okay. You see right. Wow. Wow, this is the... So, Challenge. I don't know where this happened. I don't know where delayed gratification for people um, just completely dropped out of our souls. Um, so for anybody that understands this, uh, um, delayed gratification is basically taking, let's say, three months. I'm going to take three months to set myself up to win in three months. Now, what happens is, and this is one of those cases um, where somebody is seeing great results. Well, you're going to see great results if you're overweight and you eat once a day. Um, now, here's a couple of things that you're doing. You're First of all, you're basically just starving your body. Are you going to lose fat? Sure you are. Um, are you going to gain all that fat back? 100%. Why is that? If I lose the fat, I don't have to gain it back. I'm eating healthy. I'm eating once a day. Because your body doesn't adapt to how you're eating in the sense of once a day. It adapts to how many calories that you're taking in. So I know that you're not doing this. I know you're not taking in 3,000 calories at one meal. And if you are, your body's still just using the majority of that as fat and storing it because your body can't utilize that much. At no point did anybody in the entire world that has any kind of brain says that your kidneys and, and, and your liver can utilize and, and, and digest over 200 grams of protein in one sitting. It doesn't happen. So with that being said, when a fat person starves themselves, they go into a roller coaster diet. I got my weight off. Now I'm going to start eating 200 calories above 500 calories because if you're doing one meal, it's probably 500 calories. Uh -oh. So if you're doing that, <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to rebound up. And that's not what I want for you. I would re rather have you. Oh, there she is. Oh. Come sit with us. You brought your dog back. <laughs> so when, when you do this, I worry about the delayed gratification. You want to sit in? Get in there. Hi. Chris, I'm um, talking to you. Hi. You want to sit in? He was talking to you. Oh, sit in on what? Sit in on this bad boy. I'm going to let him sit here. Okay. Yeah, come sit. Take, choice. Take my place. Yeah, Mona, let's go eat something. Go eat something good. <laughs> come on. My eating what are we doing? Good, that's a good, well, good question, all right? It's a great question. It's a great question. I want to talk about delayed gratification. Okay. And society is lost. Can you tell lost. them who she is? Chrissy, I, I think the best host would be <laughs> Minister Heath Evans would be the best host. That, first and foremost, this is my bride, my new lovely wife. Um, on social, she's at Weight Loss Hero. Why? Because she's a weight loss hero beast. Uh, her personal story, 175 plus pounds down and has kept it off for almost six years now at this point. She has an awesome company, just like Power Bodybuilding, uh, helping people, loving women, helping them get their hearts right and get their minds right. Yep. Continue the conversation. All right. And so this is pretty good timing to do this. What we have is someone that is seeing great results. And I would like to explain to them, great results is great if done correctly relative to TV shows like Biggest Loser, where you're stuck in a house, no stress, bills are paid for, yeah. and you're starved. What I would like to explain to this person is if we set them up correctly, we can get the weight off and then slowly build him back up. But he's in a rush to do one meal a day and do incredible training just to get it off. Got it. So and like I'm worried then... about the rebound effect because if you're eating once a day, the body is only going to be compress it to, to digest and utilize that amount of calories. Anything above that, rebound effect. Right. Well, and it's going to slow your metabolism way down, in my opinion. So OMAD is the one meal a day super popular right now and it makes sense but i feel like the bottom line is when it comes to weight loss is what you do to lose weight is what you're going to ultimately have to do to keep it off so everybody wants to do these like you know starve yourself you know whatever but you're not going to do that long term so the second you stop doing it you're going to put all this weight right back on right so same with people who do phenamine or take whatever i mean unless you plan on doing that as a long-term solution so most people are not going to long-term eat one meal a day um, the other thing I see is that people will not eat and then that one meal a day, they're just 
completely like they're, they're binging. They're just eating as much as they can, as bad as they can. So there's no nutrients, there's no vitamins, there's no good protein. Body there's no, that. yeah, there's nothing there. And so then, then your metabolism is going to meet you where you're at. Right. And it's going to slow right down. So when you get out of that pattern, you're just going to start eating bad, bad again, and you're just going to put it right back on. So we, everybody here does not want that to happen. And I know that you already preempt, you already said that I'm not going to be happy about this. Yeah, right. I know that it's happening fast for you, and I know that you're enjoying this um, because you're seeing the quick, quick results, which mm -hmm. I can understand that that's fun. We did that with the 30-day blitz. Right. It was but horrible. It was horrible for Heath. Um, and it was, it was horrible, horrible for Mona, <laughs> but that was because of me, not because of her. Um, with that being said, I would love if you could take it up to at least three meals yeah you know we can all eat three meals through a lifetime and that could be somewhat healthy and and you can still get in a, you'll still see great droppage of the fat and i'm glad that you took my point of view of getting get the weight off and then we can build you up so well, and I think too, like building muscle at the same time as dropping fat, like everybody focuses on the number on the scale, but it's like, you want, you want to do both. I mean, it takes a long time to build muscle, right? Right. What I was saying to these people, cause they come and they say, uh, I want to drop fat, but I want to keep my muscle. I'm like, don't worry about the muscle. Oh yeah. We'll yeah, get yeah, yeah. that back. Yeah. And you're going to build muscle when you tie it down. Let's get your weight off of you. Yeah. Let's make you happy about how you look Shut and you're going to want to train more. Yeah. And that, so that's what he's doing. Cause he's training like an animal. The strength program is a savage, savage program. And just, I don't even know how you're doing it with one meal. I, I would go crazy. But uh, <laughs> uh, this is just yeah, our expertise right on doing this is, is that I would love for you to at least get three meals in. Yeah. Um, before and after workout and then maybe one a little bit later. And then if you want to fast through the rest of the day, I'm okay with that. Um, but I just don't like the one meal a day. Yeah, doing like an intermittent fasting. Could do that. That's it. That was yeah. beautiful. That was beautiful for you to jump in. That was good timing. Yeah, Heath right. Evans and his timing, right, guys? And I thought I had him blocked with uh, Steve Pack. I don't know what happened here. Steve Tupac. Steve Tupac. Steve Thanks Pack for doing this. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do this again. Absolutely. Teamwork. Awesome. Kaboom. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. That is it for today. You guys have a great day. And again, um, do me a favor. Hit me back. On if you do change up the plan and everything like that because I would just love to see what you're doing and stuff and also just if you can take some before and after shots as well because yeah know the Michael Hearn rules he's the only coach that's right and you don't promote yourself that's right we're here to promote me follow at I was like <laughs> that might look good he is the best 278.6 pound 286 man. you got the weight wrong <laughs> I took off lifting this week. I ate. Oh my gosh, she's full. <laughs> it's just a clutch. I can pop this no, shit. That's a good angle for my mm -hmm. arms. So anyways, my like arms say, can you almost look can big you... in this one. <laughs> he's wearing black. Look at that. He's, he's learning the tricks, guys. Jeff, Jeff taught me. Oh. Speaking of 268. Well, Woo! All right, guys. Thank you again for everything. Um, this is the new father and son shirts. They, uh, I love it. They're going to develop my own line within the father and son. Uh, so they're going to be a little bit more loose fitted like this. I know that you see a lot of guys, um, they're very tight, tight, tight. And I understand that for that generation. I just like a little bit more breathy. Um, I'll fill the shirt out myself, if you know what I mean, instead of making it too small to fit. Uh, I ain't going to say any names, right, Rez? Jeff? Huh? Yeah. What? <laughs> Bye, guys.